cut the shivers. Whatever I'm thinking about you. Welcome back to Reviving Salvage, guys. The place where we repair damaged cars and get them back on the road. In the last episode, I took you through all the damage to the vehicle, what we're going to do with it, what the plans are, and get it sorted. So in this episode, we're going to just crack on and get that bumper off, another bumper, the bonnet, the door, the wing, and just try and uh, replace the damaged parts. So the car is then more or less ready to use. I'm going to take the headlight home with me and give it a see if I can repair it the best I can. Before I start stripping the front end of this beast, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. We're aiming for 10,000 um, subscribers this year. I'm sure we can all do that, not a problem. The only way we can do that is by me giving you good content and you subscribing, guys. So come on click that notification bell as well so you'll never miss an upload or never miss an update of what I'm doing because at the moment I'm uploading quite frequently and I don't want to miss a thing guys uh, right also if you also want to know what I'm doing day to day I do upload on uh, Instagram and Facebook reviving underscore salvage join me on there guys and you'll see what I'm getting up to and you get to see sneak peeks and little clues of what projects are coming and it's all on Instagram. Come on then guys, let's crack on and get into this baby. Oh, I've been excited for this. I'm glad to be back in the garage as well, guys, because it, it was horrible on the drive. <sighs> Where to start? I think to start off with, I think we get the easiest thing to do as I'm on my own. The bonnets are quite heavy on these. Not difficult, but good on your own. My wife is going to join me shortly. So I will be taking this wing off. Okay, yeah, so I, I think to start off with this, as you can see there, there's the, the lights go all the way around. I think on some models, they only go around there. So anyway, I think what we're gonna bear off doing, first of all, is taking the wing off and going from there. So let's crack on now guys and get this wing off. Like I said, we want to try and do as much as this as possible straight away. So let's get some gloves on and let's crack on. Okay, like first things first. It's not a lot holding this headlight in guys. So let's get this out. Quite damaged, you can see that. But I'm gonna try and reuse this for now. Don't shout to me, guys. But I need to just get this car up and running as soon as. So I'll put the parts over the other side. Some bits are still here, so hopefully we can fix some of these. Looks like the bottom bit is still intact, not damaged. That's good. There's no wires damaged there. Fingers crossed. You should know all along by now. Don't throw nothing out, guys. So, let's see. Okay, you got the wing uh, here. There was one in between the door. Let me show you. Down by there, you can see it, guys. There was a hole there for a screw. I think there's some behind this, but to take this off, there's a screw holding underneath, and I think it just slides that way. So I'll just undo that now. I'm trying to show you as much as I can, guys. Let's just. It is quite awkward. And I think I've just cut my knee on bloody glass. Now we've got to be careful of the glass, guys. Oh, 
Why is it everything I do is always a screw or something? I just want to undo, guys. Get away without opening that. Not gonna lap there. As I can see, the screw's right there. Okay. So that is. I think holding that on with the watch just indicator. Look there guys, I didn't need to undo it all but it was so loose anyway. But that just pops back on there, so that's okay. so don't damage anything when I pull it off so the last bit now is undoing this little bit of wheel arch right now so we'll get the wing off okay there's no getting out of it front wheel is going to have to come off so I can get the, the wheel arch liner up so I can get the, bump, the bumper off or well, loose that side so I've only got a little jack. That was a hard work to jack up. Okay, just taking the wheel, the, the wheel off. My God, some mud. Definitely, we've done a bit of off-roading in this. Oh God, God. So, that needs to be cleaned, doesn't it? That's a, that's a hell of a lot of mud in there. Okay. You don't do no arm like it's just it's just not very good this all there. It's been at the ditch or whatever it is and uh and then moved since so it'll probably wash off once you start driving it. 
Anyway, need to get this wheel, uh, this wing off. Okay, there's the tree. No damage to that at all. It's all straight, guys. The only thing it has moved is this top piece here. See where it was. I'm just gonna undo them now and hopefully it'll, it'll go back into shape. Uh, proper ma, all solid, guys. So let's put this into shape now before we put the new bumper on, ah, the wing on. See it there? It's trying to get back into its original shape anyway. We'll offer up a new wing and see how it fits, guys. We'll know then. That's more or less what it was. Okay, like I said, nothing else is broken. Okay, here's the part. It's a genuine Land Rover Freelander part. The only thing wrong with it, there was a, there's a very, very faint pinhole dent in there somewhere. I mean, I've looked, I just barely make it out, so it's well worth it. What do you think of that guys? 
fully bolted up and looks good. All the holes line up. And the gap at the top's good. I'm gonna have to work on the bottom bit. See, it's touching there. I don't know whether that door's moved or what, I don't know. I'm gonna have to have a little look at that. So, let's put some test holes in the top now, screws, and go from there. Okay. That is the wing done guys. With a perfect gap. Sorry guys, right, all the way down. Perfect gap. Obviously it's gonna be sprayed on the car. When he's gonna, he's gonna blend it into the door. And obviously when he's doing this, I've taken the plastic off the door now, so you can see it. But, the thing is done. I'm gonna start work on the bonnet now. I'm gonna put the wheel arch in first. So let's crack on with the wheel arch, guys. Okay, guys. The wheel is back on, arch line is all in. Uh, You've seen the wing is on, perfect, all lines up. Um, I've also done a step, the bracket had just moved and bent out, so I've bent it all back into place and it's all fine. Uh, sorry about the poor lighting guys, see if I can turn the torch on. The door opens fine on it, solid. They're not designed to be stand, stood on anyway, they're more aesthetically pleasing I think. Big word for me. Uh, like I said, gaps all the way down is, is uh, spot on. There's a clip there. I've secured it here. There wasn't any screws in here. But the holes and brackets were there for them. So I think what I've done now, because I've screwed it in there, that's just come out a tiny bit. So I might have to take one of them out or something. I don't have a look at it. But apart from that, our wing is looking sweet, solid, it's all fitted, the join for the bumper, it's all perfect, after all this should fit perfectly as it is uh, from Land Rover, I think it cost, um, it did tell me the price, for the invoice for you, and I had it cheap because, um, go careful my address is on there, it was uh, £149 for the wing, guys. Which is cheap for a 
and not an aftermarket part but a proper Land Rover wing. Like I said, there is in the in here somewhere there is a slight little dent or pinhole dent, but it's going to be resprayed, so I'll have him to do that as well. So the next task now is to take his bonnet off. Uh, let's have a look at this one. It's all you. So I don't think I need to do a lot. It's all there. So just have a look with all of this wiring. Disconnect that, I suppose. So I'll crack on with that now. Hey guys, the replacement bonnet is on. I had my wife and son to come and help me do that. I, my phone is only on 13%, so I ain't got a lot of battery left to film it. So it's just a case now of me putting in, putting this wiring back on and putting it all back together. But it all lines up really good. If it weren't for the headlight, this car would be more or less done apart from spraying and that uh, window. So we're getting there. Getting there. So I'm just going to crack on now. Like I said, I've only got like 13% of my battery of my phone, so I'm just not going to bother filming this bit. It's literally putting all the coverings back on the the engine bay on the bonnet. Guys, that's all been put back I had to swap over the jets because they uh, they were electric ones and the ones on the other one weren't so they obviously heated or something print there I'll wipe off when we clean the engine bay but that is the door fit uh, no, it's my one but that is the bonnet fitted guys and the wing. It's getting dark now, so I can't really see a lot. It does close nice. There you go. What do you think, guys? All lines up nice. It might need a little tweaking on the bonnet. But I can do that. Not far off. Very similar colour. But this car is nearly, nearly done already, guys. So I'm going to call it a day now. But I'll carry on filming for you guys tomorrow. So this will all be in one video. So it'll be the bonnet, the wing. And the glass in the door should be one video and see how we get on but so far guys coming along very nice okay guys it's the next day i've come to fit the headlight i took it home last night i say fix it don't judge me okay um it's all been repaired i've repaired it all i know it looks a bit of a mess but it's watertight that's all i wanted to do that for is to make it watertight for now because like i said these headlights are like 600 pound so until i find one that looks 10 times better that side works that side only works just around there it all fits up line is lovely uh, all the headlights working out so at least it's watertight no water's going to get inside there the plastic welded all the lens for now um, I'll pop the bonnet and show you inside
It is absolutely freezing, snowing today as well, guys. It's been snowing, snowing right now. Trying to. So it's not a very really nice day, so I won't be here uh, Saturday. And I'm gonna spend some time now in the house. But I managed to get one fit into fix. That one was missing. So I'm a bit stuck with that one. But it's actually in solid because I fixed all the tabs in the back. So I liked. It'll do me for now. Like I said, the purpose of this car is for us to use. If I was reselling it, I'd fix our lights straight away. It'd be one of the things to do with it. This is nearly bonnet fits lovely. Perfect lines. The wing is on. My like door. Now the problem I got now is I've got, I'm waiting for all the parts to come for the wing mirror. So they'd be uh, um, or you on Monday. Today is Saturday. So the problem I got now is the door is full of glass. I'll just turn this engine off a minute, guys. On the lights okay yeah it's full you know it's full of glass so obviously I gotta strip the, the car down the door cards off and take the car to be uvered and I'll take it up because I've got no power I would use the over here so I gotta take the car on the drive and over the door out get rid of all that glass because I'm gonna have to take the glass out of this door to fit it to that so I'm gonna call it a day now on this done quite a bit fitted the wing uh, done the wheel arch fixed the step step is solid now so that's good and I fitted the bonnet guys and I fixed the headlight so you know not a bad little car not a bad little start to the project so the next video now will be me doing the glass in the door and replacing that. Then this car should be ready to go to the paint shop and have it sprayed. But that's like I said, there's no rush for that because this car is going to be going to be going out and getting used straight away uh, in amongst the mini project. So I'll be flipping back and forth to this. So this is going to be a long-term project, getting things done, and then obviously whatever projects we have in between. So you'll see this car quite a lot on the channel guys so that is it for this video please like share and subscribe and tell me what you think of the car guys and what uh, what I've done so far obviously don't judge me on that red light I wouldn't normally leave it like that but at the moment it's in it's solid it's not gonna let no leaks in it might have a little bit of condensation in there perhaps but it'll do for now like I said temporarily until I can find one at a reasonable price all that's fitted the wheel is still up so that's good and all the arse line is back in perfectly so thank you very much guys and I will see you in the next one probably either on the door on this or it might be the mini depending on what parts come first guys thank you all very much and I'll see you all in the next one bye guys Figure out why you would be mad at me Who are you? You say it's nothing but it never